Hey cats, it's Ed, Flight Foam Bud here. My pair of the ASICS Metaspeed Sky Plus and I took on the ASICS London 10K this weekend. How did I get on in the big smoke? Let's find out. Woo! Welcome back to the channel, or if you're new here, where have you been? Help the channel out by hitting that subscribe button and clicking the bell below for notifications so you're notified. Also, hit that like button and share this video with your running buddies. I'd be most appreciative. Dank, dank, dank shun. It was the A6 10K this weekend in England's capital, London. Gotta be honest, some very warm morning temperatures there. We did travel up the day before, staying in a lovely area south of the river near to Waterloo Station. We made our way over to the race area on the tube. Managed to get a bit of a warm up in down the mall. Incredibly flat, incredibly straight. I imagine you could clock some really fast times there if you wanted to, if they had some sort of race that went through there, like the marathon, for example. The race started at 9.30 already. There were some very warm morning temperatures. I think Strava clocked it at about 20 degrees C. It was great to meet a load of different people as well while I was up in London. There were some other YouTubers and some viewers of the channel. There's a lovely guy called Albury who I met uh, as I was getting to the race on the tube. I did spot 40 runs as well, but he shot past me on his warm-up. I didn't manage to wave at him or anything. I gotta say the A6 10k was superbly organized, some excellent marshalling, and I have to say the atmosphere was fantastic. And most importantly, gallons of water to quench the thirst of the very warm runners. I managed to end up in the right pen before the race. I think I was about in the right area. There were about three or four 40 minute paces. I knew I was never gonna manage to hit that time on the day. It was incredibly warm. Not really what you call an ideal sort of personal best temperature, but I was roughly in the right place and that's what counted. I'd set up Pace Pro on my Garmin watch so that I was gonna stick very closely to that as much as possible and that really did help me during the race. Going off too fast would have been very damaging towards the end of this race, I'll tell you that now. The race kicked off near the top of Green Park and then took in Regent Street both up and back. Lots of great support all along today's route, which does make it really something special. There was some nice downhill around that point as well, I really enjoyed that. Any downhill section on this course I really enjoyed. There were a few small climbs here and there, and you could tell that people were really struggling on those climbs. Actually, I think I'm a little better at dealing with those now. Perhaps some of that hill training that I've been doing over the past few weeks has helped and paid off. You then take in Pall Mall, both up and back, where I find myself hunting out the shade wherever possible before a fly past Trafalgar Square. Surprisingly few pigeons there. Where are they? Where are they all hanging out these days? And then onto the Strand. I didn't spot Brian Ferry or any of the members of Roxy Music. I was very, very disappointed. I have to say the Strand area was a real test for me. I'm not sure why. I always get to this certain point in a 10K where you think, I've gone over halfway now and round about sort of 6.5 kilometers or seven kilometers, it's starting to hurt a little bit. And I think it was round about there was where I had the angel and the devil sat on my shoulders. I managed to beat off the devil though and listen to the angel who was saying, come on, you got this, it's all right, keep on going. There'll be a nice can of water for you at the end. So it was about six or seven kilometers. I was glad to throw some water over my head. I do recall running through a jet of water at one point and then realizing I had shades on which made it very difficult to see. I do sort of recall laughing to myself at that point as how uh, stupid I was. I managed to plow on past Somerset House and the embankment and the Millennium Wheel or whatever it's called these days. So for me it's always going to be the Millennium Wheel. I think it's called the London Eye now or something like that but Millennium Wheel sounds much more sci-fi. Up onto the Westminster Bridge and there was a lovely breeze coming along, just cooling us all down a little bit. I do recall that there was a band at the end of Westminster Bridge with this tribal rhythm. It was really sort of getting into my soul. I was really enjoying it and that sort of pushed me on. So whoever was playing down there, thank you. I managed to get back up to pace around that time. I think it was the fifth mile I'd sort of dropped off a little way and then powered into the final section and through to the finish line.
having a look at the mile splits now and I stuck pretty much to my plan. Aside from miles three and five, I was about six seconds and 13 seconds behind goal time there. No surprise that they were on the miles where there was some sort of elevation. I wouldn't say it was significant elevation, but when you've been running on flats or downhill and then suddenly you're hit with a hill of some sort, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. So with that in mind, I'm certainly going to keep up with those hill sessions that I've been doing over the last few weeks. They are starting to pay off now. Certainly in races, it's just that little bit easier. Up in the cadence a little bit and just powering through those and kind of, you know, leveling off and riding up through the peak of the hill. So finished in 42.10, at least by my watch, but the official time was 42.05. So remember from a little while back, at the Martok 10K, I think that was 41.38. So I was a little way off that pace, but in that heat, well, it was never gonna be easy. So very happy with the time, considering the temperatures, and there's about six of those double backs as well on the course. I think you lose probably a couple of seconds here and there on those double backs. I think having a good restful night's sleep beforehand really helped out in terms of performance. I felt really ready, the legs felt good. I had had a quiet week up to that point as well where I dropped the pace back a little bit and the mileage and that really seemed to work. I think the legs have just absorbed a bit of the training that I've been doing recently and all of that put together helped me out. Now Strava has the race down as 6.3 miles and it clocked my time as 41.29 for the 10K. So that would make that a little bit quicker over the 10K distance that we had at Martok and that was bang on 6.2 or 10 kilometers for that race uh, at least that I recorded on Strava so you could look at it and say that it was a little bit faster today perhaps I would imagine GPS accuracy was probably hit by running around through the center of London there's lots of very tall buildings there and that's probably had a little bit of a detrimental effect on the readings certainly a hard effort and both watches are telling me to do some considerable resting and relaxing though it didn't stop me from going out and doing some gardening and scratching my arm on some very nasty thorn bushes. If you've just done a race, guys, don't ever think about doing some gardening, no matter how much your significant other advises you to do so. So shoe-wise, it was the Metaspeed Sky Plus for me on the race. It was the weapon of choice and they felt certainly light and nimble and that's what you wanted out there. It was very warm. You didn't want any extra weight. It just seems to sort of stay out of the way of my running really. I mean, I've not got the greatest running form in the world. I think I'm getting better as time goes on, but these just seem to work for me. I find I can just lift the legs a little bit more and they're very long legs and they push me forward when I need a little bit of extra propulsion. Grip was great, especially on those six double backs today. Even though they were quite tight, tight turns I never felt unstable whatsoever every time I came up to one of those double backs I was thinking about who else was near me I don't want to crash into anybody or block anybody off so it just takes a little bit of maneuvering to get into the right position I'm sure the rubber underfoot was almost gummy on the race it felt like almost sticky like those tires I suppose they use within a Formula One race it was lovely running on some tarmac roads as well a little bit more forgiving than some of the stuff I run on in my local area also no cars and no potholes as well you couldn't run that race around here it would just be terrible you'd have people with twisted ankles and all sorts it was brilliant to meet up face to face with so many viewers there were some fantastic people there there's so many too many to mention almost i want to give a big shout out to tc collins and melissa hope you guys had a fantastic time running around wales yesterday and also my main man gabrielle i think gabrielle was with me at the start and he finished just behind me fantastic running sir big shout out to mohammed as well we were chatting before the race hope you enjoyed it sir I have to say I had a fantastic time running at the A6 London 10K. Highly recommended by the Ed Bud. Just a really awesome atmosphere. Everybody seemed really, really pleased to be there. Great to be back out racing again. I think there was about 7,500 odd people. I'm really happy with my performance. Nice to be running in a different place and with great support from all the local residents and those bands as well. Many thanks to A6 for inviting me and I'm certainly gonna be back next year. Let's just hope it's a little bit cooler next time, maybe about three or four degrees centigrade. 
you know, it could happen. You never know what's going to happen with the weather in the UK. Also, big thanks to my dad, Dale Fender, for coming along and just being there. He got lots of footage. I'll probably do a director's cut version with loads and loads of extra footage and place that up on the channel very soon. Were you running at the A6 London 10K or another race somewhere in the world over the weekend? Let me and the runners know down in the comments. Musical interlude time. A great album to let you know about from Neil Young and Crazy Horse. This was recorded back in 2001. I don't think Neil Young had released it and it just sort of lay dormant for a while. Now, there's some cracking tunes here that I first heard when Neil Young and Crazy Horse were on tour back in 2001. One of those tracks is Standing in the Light of Love and Gateway of Love. That track is fantastic. Neil Young kind of plays the melody as he's sort of singing the actual top melody line together. It just sounds beautiful. There's a really fantastic vibe about that track. I was really pleased to see that it had been released on this new album. Not sure why it's called Toast. There's probably a good reason for it. Maybe Neil Young he particularly enjoys a piece of toast with some raspberry conserve and a nice cup of tea. Production on this album is quite sprightly as well. It's quite open. It's quite a dynamic sort of sound. Typical Neil Young and Crazy Horse stuff though. It does sound like they've maybe heard the tracks once or twice before and then sort of recorded them. So you get that kind of old sun rock and roll records vibe. This one only released on the 8th of July, so it's very new. Go and check it out, guys. Toast by Neil Young and Crazy Horse. Right, that's about all for me for today. There is some outtakes and bits and bobs at the end of the video, so do stay tuned. Remember to hit that subscribe button and click the bell below for notifications when the new videos launch. Give this video a thumbs up like and share it with your running buddies. My name's Ed Budd and I'll be seeing you. Hey guys, I'm here with my friend Gabrielle here. I met him at the start line and he literally just came in just a fraction behind me. I'll tell you what, we both agreed. Gabrielle it's was very warm. hot. Very, very warm. Very warm, but enjoyable. I feel like I've definitely done a workout today. Yeah. We've definitely, we can uh, treat ourselves to a, a nice Feel beer. A can of water. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the beer will come later. Yeah, later on once we've recovered. Yeah. So, um, you got any races coming up, Gabriel? Anything else you're doing? Yeah, they do a half marathon in November. It's quite a okay, long yeah. And what? I'm planning to do like an ultra run, but next year. Oh, wow, okay. So, getting in some serious miles yeah, for an ultra yeah. then. Get some nice cushioned shoes on and, and getting those long runs in on the Sundays, yeah? Yes, exactly. Excellent. What, what part of Germany are you from originally, Cabra? I'm from Düsseldorf, which is close to Cologne. Your listeners may know Cologne better. Yep, yep. That's lovely to meet you, Gabriel. It's very good to meet Take you. Take care, man. See you soon.